So, Watsy's making some production changes, and it might hurt Australian players and game stores. Stay tuned, and I'll tell you how. Welcome, my re-sparked planeswalkers, to the Oathbreaking News, where we keep you up to date on MTG and WotC news that affects the community and the format. So, in today's Turn 1 scoop, I want to address the 2021 price changes that are going to affect Australian consumers and game stores. Now, this is one of those changes that flew under the radar for many, and it was thanks to my friend, the curious homunculus, that I got turned on to this new story. He makes amazing content, and if you want to check out his EDH content, I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. So, this morning, the curious homunculus posted a clip from a Wizards article that said, Wizards of the Coast are changing some behind-the-scenes procedures at the end of this year. Sadly, this will result in an increase of prices starting in the new year. This will affect every store in Australia. I couldn't find a lot of information on this up front, but after doing a little bit of digging, we found an article posted by Toby, and it states, Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons to see price increases in Australia. Since the early days of Wizards of the Coast doing business with Australia, with Australians, wholesalers, and stores could buy from them direct, very similar to how things worked in the U.S. gaming stores until more recently. Over time, the discount has been eroded away, and the Wizards direct sales program is now gone. Now, the information they received was from Michelle Thompson, and it explained, The program simply uses more of our resources that can be justified by the value it delivers to retailers. On top of that, this change, wholesalers in Australia have reported that these changes are going to affect regions and exclusive product lines and new distributors will be introduced, increase the costs of both D&D &D and Magic the Gathering product. It is going to be a little bit harder because local wholesalers have slashed most of the discounts and the discounts to them, as I mentioned earlier, have been eroded away. So this is going to probably have a longer term effect. Now, as I said at this time, the information is limited and I would certainly like to know more so I can do a follow up report on this. If you could please leave me some information in the comments below. If you know more about what's going on, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, if you want to support Oathbreaking News content, you can do so by getting your gaming gear using our affiliate links in the description below or alternatively you can support us on patreon and at paypal.me a quick reminder to our re-sparked planeswalkers listening show your loyalty by subscribing to the channel and remember i can't do this without you guys and i wouldn't and i hope you have a great day